In this video, I'm going to show you how to export POIs from Fortnite to use in your 3D scenes in Blender or in any program that you want to use. So, first thing I'm going to do, you want to do is you want to run your U model, and you, we need to find the exact POI that we want. So, I'm I want to export Holly Hedges just for this video. So, the folder where the POIs are located is under Game, and then you want to go to Athena. Apollo maps POI and this is every single POI that exists in the game if you wanted let's say I wanted to export like a specific building you can go to buildings and then I can go just like three by three and there's all these individual buildings right here but for this we're just gonna look at the POIs so you want to go to this folder and look for the POI you want so once Holly Hedges which is right here so once you find your POI, you want to right click on it and click uh, click copy package path. And then I would open up a notepad and paste it in here just so that you have it so you don't lose it. So once you have your package path copied, um, you're going to want to go down in the description and download this program called Blender UMAP. This is what we use to actually export POI. Um, so once you have this downloaded, you can go ahead and open the folder and open up the config. And you want to make sure that where it says packs directory, you want to make sure this is the package path for your packs. So ours is going to be different, but since I have mine set up right here, I don't have to change it. So once you have yours pasted in here, you can just file and save and then you can close it. And then what you want to do is you want to um, run this batch file. It's called fill for the AES keys. So once you run this, what it'll do is it, it'll just update the AES to the most latest one. So once you do that, you can open up the config again and scroll all the way to the bottom. And then in between the quotation marks, you want to paste the package path. So if we go back to the notepad that we have, you want to take this from what you copied before and paste it in there. And then file save, and then you can close it. So once you did that, you can click this batch file that says run exporter. And this will start to export the POI and everything that you need. So that's including the textures and all the props and stuff like that. Okay, so once this finishes exporting, you're gonna see down here where it says data directory equals, and then it's gonna give you this path. What you wanna do is copy this path that it gives you so you just select it and control c and then if you go back to the blender umap folder you see this blend file called depths and you want to open this blend file so just double click it and it will open and then you'll come up with this python window and here you want to go to open and then click umap.python open that and you'll see all this and you're probably confused but the only thing that you need to worry about is this right here where it says data directory equals, it's the exact same as this right here. So you, when you copy this, you wanna replace this text right here in the quotations with what you copied. And then once you do that, you just run the script and it'll import the POI into your Blender. It might take a minute and your Blender might crash like mine is, but that's because it's importing a lot of stuff at once. So just let it do its thing and it'll work. Okay. So you can see here that my the POI is uh, imported and it's you've got everything. So you've got all the buildings, all the trees. If you go inside the buildings, you have all the props and everything that you need that's at the POI. So that's pretty much it. Um, let's say you want to move something because if you click on the actual POI or something in the POI, everything is connected. You can't move anything by itself. So the way that you fix this is you press F3 on your keyboard and search for make instances real. Then you just click that. And now every object is its own object. So I can select an object by itself and I can move it around. Um, so that fixes that problem. Um, but there's another one that we have and that's these triangle pieces right here. So these triangle pieces are actually um, loot. They're, these are these triangles show where loot and chests spawn inside of the POI. So you don't need these. So what you can do is you can select it and then you go to uh, select at the top 
and you do select linked and then you click object data and then you can see it selects all of them and you just press X and delete and then I'll get rid of every single one. If we go into textured view uh, to view what the POI looks like with all the textures, you'll notice that once it finishes compiling, it there's a lot of the textures that are incorrect and that's because the program can't accurately get the exact same textures that are used. It just has, like most, some of the textures are like changed color and stuff. Um, so it just imports the base texture. So some textures you'll have to uh, apply and fix manually. But other than that, every single texture for like the props and everything is pretty much the exact same as the actual game. So you can see right here that this uh, tractor, oh, it's lagging. This tractor, or <laughs> not tractor, this uh, forklift thing is just yellow because this is just, this is the color for part of the material. Uh, if you look at the picture on screen right now, you can see that this looks nothing like it. And that's because that's just, that's like I said, that's just the base. Um, but yeah, once all of these finish compiling, I'll come back. Okay, so you can see what I'm talking about here when the textures are not exactly the same. Um, I'll put a picture of the actual POI and you can see that it looks completely different from what we have. But that's because all of the textures that are used um, that are uh, exported by the exporter are just like pretty much the base textures. Um, so finding the actual textures won't be too much of an issue. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, you can just look for them in Umodel and check the same folder that the assets are in. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.